All right, here we are. Um, <clears throat> so, let me see if I could put this here where you could actually see what's going on. I don't know if you can even see that. I'm trying to get it down here where you can actually see it. Yeah, okay. So, it looks like the bottom, the one on the, the bottom, um, this is the active noise canceling delete, I guess, um, that is coming from LLJ. And as you can see, that's not gonna work. So the good thing about this is um, each of these connect, these pin connectors are, see if I pull this one out enough. These are kind of tricky, but each of these pin connectors um, are different, ouch, they're different sizes. So it makes it pretty simple. It's not like a guessing game. Either it fits or it doesn't, like this. Um, that's not that's not gonna fit, right? So it's gotta be probably the brown one, right? So, and if you look up, I'm not entirely sure if I have A and C. I'm assuming I do. Um, because this, this is the Denali. So now if you look over here at the pin connectors on the harness, you've got four different ones, right? So at first it didn't make sense to me, but now I understand what's going on here. So, um, so what's doing is you're going to take whatever fits into this, right? So, well, first of all, we're going to have one that goes in here, most likely, right? How does this work? Hopefully they gave me the right freaking one, the right freaking harness. So let's pull all of these out first, and uh, we'll just see if, if that's actually true. And we're, we don't have a guessing game. Yeah, so that's a different pin type. Um... This brown one here, I don't even know if I need to remove this brown one, but let's just remove it so we can see what the hell. Okay, and so it looks like those are a different pin connector. So all of them are different. So it either works or it don't. So, I, so this works with that. It doesn't work with this. So we know that the brown one we don't need, but this one, it works. This is the only one it works with. And so the A and C bypass is gonna go in here, I hope. And like I said, they don't really give you instructions on how to do this, so you're kinda um, just kinda winging it, right? Um, my stepdad used to call this a smoke test. <laughs> when he would help me with this shit. So I'm assuming this just clicks right in here. Let's see, are we doing that right? Uh, it looks like that's a totally different type of uh, connector there, so I don't think we want that one. We don't want that one. We don't want that one. Well, yeah, what's going on here? Why is this? Why is this weird? It doesn't look like that's going to line up very well. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, well, no, that's not going to work. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe we did this wrong. Yep, I think we did this wrong. So let's pull this tab back out. We will remove this and see what the hell we did wrong here. So this, the pins work fine. Uh, maybe this is supposed to go a different way. I'm not really sure. Just kind of playing around here. Yeah, it looks like that's not going to work. Definitely not going to work. So, I don't know. This ANC thing is already kind of weird. Or maybe it's not supposed to go in there. And it's supposed to go into the brown one. Is that possible? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it's supposed to go in the brown one. Looks like it fits really nicely into that one. 
And this is supposed to go over this one. Ah. Okay, so yeah, that that's pretty much how it has to go. So that means we were right, and this is just simply get, getting rid of A and C. So put that one back in. So I guess that's what that's for. So that's that's why it didn't make sense. So we can kind of just, I mean, we don't need to, uh, maybe we can tuck this in somewhere. I don't know if that's a big deal or what. We'll just put it somewhere out of the way here for now. Okay, so this brown one, I don't think we do anything with the brown one, but we'll see. Okay, so let me see. Are you guys able to see what's going on here? Okay, so um, now looks like this here is going to go into, so this is correct, but it's not going in, so what's happening there? Why is that not working? This should, this should be it, but it's not going in, so I'm not sure what the issue is here. Oh, it, it will go in. It just requires a little bit of, uh, I don't know what you want to call that. Okay, so I don't want to force it. Let's make sure that these pins are correct. Yeah, they are. That's the proper deal. It just, um... Wasn't going in as nicely as the other ones were. So that's fine though. Okay, so it's in, looks like. I, feel, I don't know if that's in or all the way or not. Is that all the way in? I guess it's in as much as it'll go. And this doesn't really work because it's an aftermarket um, uh, type of uh, connector. So it's not going to connect back to what. GM has on the amp, so that's fine. Now, I'm thinking this is going to loop back, and it's going to. It's now going to plug into um, your your amp again. So wherever that goes, so that's going to go into here. Uh, where was the Where was the big boy? I can't really see it now. Let's get ourselves some more slack here. Where's the big boy? Does it go into this one? Oh yeah, it does. Okay, so it's gonna go. So that's looping back to the Bose amp. Okay, and now this guy here is going to go in. Oops, sorry about that. This is, this is really, let me see if I can get you a better view on this. It's kind of weird, right? Oh shoot, I got here. That's, that's really the best that I can do. Sorry about the poor picture on this. Okay, and then it looks like this one is going to um, go in here. This is this is the big boy. Uh, so let's get that in there. Oh, that actually does connect to the uh, aftermarket. And then it looks like this guy is gonna go right. Well, let's get if we can get it in. It's there's a lot of stuff going on right here now. It's kind of interesting uh, how this works. If it'll work, they say it will. That's why I bought the damn thing because I didn't want to cut my wires. So this was the solution for that. It took a month for him to make it, but I finally got it. Okay, so now that we got this one in. Now we depress that lever and it sounded it clicked it clicked so the brown one we didn't really need to do anything with the brown one so i'm not sure what that one was for but uh it doesn't require any um anything so that's good that's out of the way this is this is kind of bulky right here like i don't understand Maybe we could, I don't want to force it, but when I put my seat back on, this stuff is going to have to go somewhere, right? So, 
I'm thinking maybe if we disconnect that tab there, we can kind of maybe, I don't know, I don't want to disconnect the tab because we might need that. Uh, we could just kind of bring this up a little bit here and we could kind of, I, I think that sh I think the, sh the seat should be, I don't want that on the, um, on the heat sink though. Let's see if we could kind of, um, maybe kind of put it in there and this one we can, this one should be, I don't know, I don't want those wires to be up against that metal. Um, yeah, it's just kind of weird how you have to kind of do this to where it, yeah, that, that, that should be fine. Yeah, that should be fine right there. Yeah, I don't want those wires right there though, man, you know? It should be fine if it kind of just smushes in right there. It should be fine. Okay, um, so that's that. And then this thing here, let me, get, let me put this back over here. So this thing, so that's kind of what we what we got, which is which is cool. And then it just goes and hooks in here. Now, why in the hell is this green wire? Did I notice that before? What is this green wire? I have no idea why it's just hanging out. What is that supposed to be? I don't know. Just a bare wire hanging out like that? Kind of weird. So, anyway. Um, we'll figure out what's, go what's next. 